I want you to show me how to get to know someone like you, someone like you. I want you to know me, cause I know then you'll see we can be true, we can be true. I want you to see what I see in us, something so real, something so real. I want you to see that this is a love that we both feel, that we both feel. So we're in California guys. We just got here and we were about 20 minutes away from the airport. We met a really lovely couple that is also here for the conference which is why I didn't film. Um, but we just got to the room and it is beautiful. The first thing that we can't get over is like how amazing the weather is here. What, what temperature is it? It's like 80. It's always 80. <laughs> it's always 80. <laughs> Yeah, it's like 78, 80 degrees here, not the least bit humid. It's even a little like breezy and cool, yet, I mean, it looks exactly the same as it would in Florida without the steam from the humidity, of course. But this is like when you walk out of our room. We have a lovely view of this little garden area. Cute little sitting area as well. I can't wait to show you the rest of the resort because it's so beautiful. But before we get the room completely messed up, let me take you on a little tour. Okay. Let's see, walk in. Hey guys. This bathroom is to die for, and the whole place, yeah. shut up, the whole place smells like jasmine. Look at that. I love when they have the mirrors like this. smell feature on YouTube because this just smells so good. I love the shape. And I can do some editing there. Yay! And I just love that there's a waterfall out here. One thing I have to do immediately is pump because normally I would be just fine. I pumped at like five this morning and it is what, what time is it? One here. So it would be four hour time and that sounds like a long time, but actually I wouldn't normally be um, like dying and needing to pump by that time. Um, but on the first flight that we were on, so we went from Jacksonville to Atlanta, and then from Atlanta to Orange County, California. And the flight from Jacksonville to Atlanta is only 45 minutes. And that flight is the one that really screwed me up because there was an inconsolable baby. Actually, a few of them on that flight. It was like 8.30 in the morning, and so these babies like did not want to be flying and they were just screaming and even though I had just pumped at home, I started lactating like crazy. 
and anyone who is a breastfeeding mom knows that that's part of it. So anyway, I actually had to change at the Orange County Airport because I was like spraying through my dress. Yeah, and that was with going into the airplane bathroom and hand expressing, and then hand expressing when I got to the bathroom in California, also at the airport. I was still like, it was like a hose through my dress. Anyway, I had to change and now we're here. <coughs> so, um, I think we have the day to do just like whatever we wanna do. So, um, we'll probably just chill for a little while. I got about 45 minutes of sleep last night. Chad got a few hours. But I think, nonetheless, we'll probably go and do something fun. I highly doubt we'll just stay in the room. We definitely won't do that. This hotel is gorgeous. lovely lovely late lunch <coughs> on the third floor it's called something that starts with a and then there's a v i forget what it was called but anyway we're exhausted and so we come back into the room and i'm actually drawing a bath and then i sit down on the toilet to go pee pee and as soon as my shorts are down, I hear a voice, and it's coming from there. Why weren't you enough tonight? And I just kind of feel like if the bathroom is going to talk to you while your pants are down, that's something they need to disclose to you at the front desk. <laughs> like if I'm going to hear. I don't like for my husband to come into the bathroom while I'm like some of you. using the bathroom. And then there's this stranger's voice that I've never heard before all of a sudden coming from nowhere. I didn't know there was a speaker in there. And I just, I feel slightly invaded. It's this guy. Whoever he is. Do you know who that is? Not cool, bro. Not cool. Good morning. Chad and I went down for our nap yesterday and then never woke back up. Well, I woke back up because I had to pump, like really <coughs> early in the morning. It was like three o'clock, so that would have been like five o'clock at home, which is usually when Tanny wakes up to nurse. But um, we got our breakfast, and it's actually looking a little overcast outside today, which is fine. Um, but we got our breakfast and it looks lovely. Lovely. It does look lovely. There. I'm not sure what this is. Strawberry orange puree. I didn't order that. No, they give it to you. So I got eggs benedict. I won't eat the ham, of course. And my hollandaise. And Chad got um, a veggie omelet. Oh no, it has turkey bacon in it. But this looks delicious. Mm -hmm. We're about to get down to the beach, and so this is the swimsuit I'm wearing. I got it from Target. It really was the only swimsuit that looked that fit me well I'm in between a medium and large bottom since having tenny it's having a baby really rearranges your hips and so I literally had to try on like 30 swimsuits to get one that fit well this is a cover-up that I got from 
I think TJ Maxx a couple years ago. I've had it for a while, but here's the beach outfit. And Chad has my sunglasses because they're my technically sunglasses. his sunglasses, but he wears glasses all the time. So he never wears them. So I've kind of claimed them as mine and I didn't know that he would want to wear them while we were here. So I didn't bring another pair. So that's the typical thing when you're a mom, isn't it? Like you become mom to everyone in the family and anything that you bring for yourself Which is like, your husband's. ends up going to someone else. Those are not technically yours anymore because I've been wearing them for so long. I love the beach trams. <laughs> Look at how cute that is. different but we're still happy to be here it's a solid 78 degrees and where we came from was 104 today with the heat index so we are loving life in California right now and to all of our friends back home we are so very sorry <laughs> behind us. 
in the picture. That was fun and the seats were amazing. Thank you, baby. You're welcome. Chad and I just got back to the room from the game and his company left us a little box of snacks. I am going to be digging into this stuff. I love all the vegan dark chocolate. A lot of this stuff is vegan. Yeah, all of it's vegan, actually, which I am personally very impressed with. So cool. I'm so excited about that. We had a really fun time at the game. It's about 1045 local time right now. We had our conversation with Tenny before we left, so it's... 1.30 there. We won't be speaking to her tonight. Um, but I'm tired. I'm ready to get my jammies on and kind of chill out in the bed. Maybe eat a sandwich. I am rather hungry. Although, you guys saw the footage. They had vegetarian dogs at the game. So cool. I have never gotten to eat a hot dog at a game before. So that was cool. Thank you, Anaheim Stadium, for having vegetarian options. Chad's wigging out because while we were gone, <laughs> we had our room turned over again. But I had a service done on our room, and it's wigging him out for some reason. He's probably just tired. <laughs> I don't trust it. <laughs> I think we're gonna call it a night. I'm super tired. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye.